Hey everybody, in this video we are going to do the first problem from the SQL advanced certification test and this time it's going to be the crypto version. So this problem is called crypto market algorithms report. A number of algorithms are used to mine cryptocurrencies. As part of a comparison, create a query to return a list of algorithms and their volumes for each quarter of the year 2020. The results should be in the following format. Algorithm name, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 transactions. Q1 through Q4 contain the sums of transaction volumes for the algorithm for each calendar quarter of 2020. This is important, 2020. Precise to six places after the decimal. Results should be sorted as scanning by algorithm name. So we have two tables here, the coins table and the transactions table. The coins table has the name code, so it's a code for the coin, then it is a name for the coin, and then it is the cryptocurrency algorithm name. And then we have the transactions. There we have the coin code, and the transaction timestamp, and the volume that was dealt with, with this coin. All right, and then we have a sample data, where we have the code BTC, the name Bitcoin, and then the algorithm that was used for the mining. And here we have a table of transactions and then we should get out the algorithm and the transactions volume for quarter one, quarter two, quarter three and quarter four. So let's first get an overview of what we got. Select star from coins table. All right, so we have um, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Monero. And we have the algorithms SHA-256, script, ET hash, script, and random X. So script is used for both Litecoin and Dogecoin. Okay, so now let's try to get the algorithm. We select algorithm and we want to have the volume also of the transaction because that's in the end what we want to get out. So we take the sum from volume from the algorithm name is from the coins table, coins, and we join with the transactions table, transactions table, t on t dot, so how can we join? The common column is here the coin code, so transaction table is the coin code, and what is the coin code here? It's called code, it's just called code in the coins table, so we take c dot code. Let's run this query. So I do this just to get an idea of the volume, how much is really being traded. Okay, so he has a problem because it's invalid. It is not contained in the group by clause. Now, because in M we write an MS SQL and we write a sum here, we have to actually group by, by the algorithm. Group by algorithm. Okay, so now we have an, a result that gives us the volume for a script, for random X, for ET hash, and for SHA-256. But let's first think about how we can part this now into quarters, because in the end we want to get the quarterly volume result. And by the way, we also want to get it for 2020. If we look up the timestamps also, here we have DT for timestamp, group by algorithm and DT. We can see that we also have timestamps from 2019, which is not what we want, because we want the sums of transaction from each quarter of 2020. So we definitely have to filter and we do the where clause right after we do the join. And before we do the group by, we say where, and now we make a date part. So a date part function you can use whenever you want to partition your date. Now here we can see the timestamp in full length, 2019, 7, 10, and also the minute at which the transaction took place. So the um, time was 9, 10, 16, and the day was um, 10th of July, 2019. And now we make the date part function. That means we want to take a certain partition 
from this date and now we want the partition year because we actually want to filter so we take the year from the DT transaction and we say it should be like 2020 and then we run it again all right and now you can see in the result set that we only have date times that also involve the year 2020 which is what we want so for now let's try now to part this further into the quarters so for that we are using the date partition again date part function and we are saying quarter and then we take the DT the timestamp as quarters and now we also group by we don't group by the timestamp anymore we deleted this one but we want to group by the quarter so we say group by date part quarter and the column timestamp all right so this is interesting so we have the first quarter ET hash then we have the second quarter ET hash third quarter ET hash and so on so it looks good let's see the result 151,462 in the first quarter let's look at the first line 151,462 that looks good we also have six decimal places after the comma which is important as it was also apart from the requirement after the decimal six places so this is already by default we don't have to do anything about this now what we are going to notice here is the script algorithm has in the first quarter 159,606 and here it has 159,606 okay so this also looks right okay so the numbers look all right but of course we have a problem what is the problem well our output looks different than the desired output how is it differentiating exactly so now we have here rows we have the first quarter the second quarter the third quarter and so on and here we actually have columns so we just have four rows in our in our output we have 16 rows so we have to go from 16 to 4 somehow and also we have more columns here we just have we have three columns here and the quarter number we don't even need that as a column so actually we have two columns the algorithm and the transaction and here we have the algorithm and then four more columns for the transactions so somehow we have to get our rows into columns and there are several ways to do this one of which i am showing you right now and the way that we plan to do this is we are going to use this script that we already did now in the with function with quarterly volume i'm going to call this and now we are going to create a pre table so this is a cte common table expression and just that just means i make a temporary table here by using the with function and i called it quarterly co volume and now I'm going to use this temporary table and I'm going to join it with my own with the own table and I'm also always going to left join it and I'm going to exclude the uh, one quarter three quarters and I'm only going to include one quarter so I'm going to work with left joins why am I going to do this so that in the end we are come from these rows output into column output if i'm going to join the table with itself by using the left join and making the right filtering then i can actually turn the rows into columns and i'm going to show you how to do that right now so we select the algorithm that's what we want in the output the algorithm and we also want transactions right so we want 
now we want four columns, which is different than before, because before we just wanted, we just had one column with quarters here. So let's first select the algorithm from, we can select it from coins. Okay, so I wrote this with wrong. Now I have it right. Okay, so I still don't have a name for this sum from volume. I'm going to call it volume here because we are going to have to use this column name. And if you make this CTEs, you cannot leave any column without a name. All right, so here I have the algorithm names, SHA-2556 script, ETH script, and RandomX. So actually I have two times the script name. We only need it one time. And the reason that we have it two times is because the script algorithm is actually used with two coins. So we have to decide for one. Okay, but first let's join the other columns. So we make a left join with our table that we just created, quarterly volume, quarterly volume, QV on, and we call this quarterly volume one. So we want to have the first quarter now. And now we join on we join on the algorithm from coins. We give this coins also every abbreviation C. So we join on C dot algorithm equals QV1 dot algorithm. And now comes the interesting part because we give another condition and the volume, no, not the volume, the quarters quarters, which we have in the first table here defined, qv1.quarters should be equal to 1. Okay, we have an ambiguous column name algorithm, so we call it c.algorithm. And what I did with this extra filter that qv1.quarters should be equal to 1 is I filtered it to only the first quarter of volume. So if I ask now the qv1.volume, then I will only have the quarter one volume in this, which is exactly what I wanted. And then I can call this as transactions, how should we call it? Transactions q1, transactions q1. And we still have this problem that the algorithm script is two times here in our result set. Okay, let's figure out why this script is two times here. So let's select the name from the coin and the algorithm from coins. Okay, so now what can we see? We can see that script was used both with the Dodge coin and with the Litecoin, the algorithm script. So we have to exclude either the Dogecoin or the Litecoin in the end. But why do we actually get both times the this volume, 159,606? So because we are grouping by algorithm and by date part, we are actually getting all the value, all the volume into, into this script. So what we can also do is we just exclude the Litecoin or the Dogecoin here. 
and then we don't get two times the script algorithm out in the end. And we still have the Dogecoin volume inside of here because here we are grouping by algorithm and we take the sum from volume from every from every coin in this case. So in this point we can exclude actually the Dogecoin where C dot code not like Doge. Okay, great. So now we have a script just one time and now we can continue with adding the other quarter. Now this is the easy part because we already figured it out for Q1, the volume, and now we can just add the same code that we did here. So we made a left join and we filtered on the Q1 quarter because here we have the quarters as a column and we filtered on the one. And now we're just gonna do the same for the two so left join quarterly volume. Now we call the table QV2. On C dot algorithm equals QV2 dot algorithm and QV2 dot algorithm equals two now and not one. And now we make the next column and then we say QV2 dot volume we want here and this is the transactions q2 and let's see if this works when we run okay so this also works perfect let's compare here 61246 in the first quarter yes that's right and 70823 in the second quarter okay looks good so now we just have to do the same thing for Q3 and Q4. Q3 and Q4. So we join again the quarterly volume and we call it QV3. And here we say QV3.algorithm and QV3.quarters should be, the quarter should be the third quarter. And now we join the table again, we call it QV4. And we use the QV, we join on QV4.algorithm and we also filter on the quarter four. And now we have to copy this line two times and change it a little bit. So now we have QV3 volume and transactions Q3. And now we have QV4 volume and transactions. Q4. Now let's run this again. All right, so we have one comma too much here. Let's run this. All right, we still don't have the right answer because there was still one requirement. Results should be sorted as scanning by algorithm name. So in the end, now this is the easiest part. We are just going to write order by algorithm and the scanning is default sorting so we just say order by algorithm and there we have our solution the correct answer now we can submit and move on to the next next task so if you want to see also the second solution crypto market transactions monitoring then please subscribe and hit the bell button and then we see us in the next video.